In this video, I'm going to show how to change the settings on the test to push back the uh, submission due date and uh, take a look at how you might set one to be individually assigned if necessary. I've got a test here, test one, due Monday, June 8, uh, at 5 p.m. Suppose I now have a student who couldn't take the test, power outages, unable to access the internet on Monday. They write to me on Tuesday and they need to take test one. So the uh, first thing I'll need to do if I decide to extend the due date, which is the probably the easiest thing to do, is to move that due date back. If I know that they've got internet on the 9th, I can push it back 24 hours by simply changing the date. But that's not the only place I'm going to have to change it because of the way I do my tests, typically. I'll also have to go into test one, into the settings, and change the enablement date, because currently you'll see up in this side, it says submissions are still disabled, even though the due date has been pushed back by 24 hours. That's because of this section here of the settings. I've got to push this back also. So I have two places that I have to make those changes, the pushback. Now that pushes back the due date for everyone, not just the one student who couldn't access the internet. That's a that's a change for everybody. Um, and depending how you've set the attempt limit, uh, if with one time they can't go back and take it again. But if you set the attempt limit to be more than one time, then other students could go back to you know, see to take it again. Don't forget you have to save changes here at the bottom uh, of the screen. Uh, the changes will not be saved without the Save Changes button being pressed. So do make sure you save the changes and that you see that changes have been saved. There is one other potential option, but it's, it takes a little bit more gymnastics, and that is you do have the ability to set a test if you look at when you edit it, you can actually individually assign a test. But this test is already open for the students to submit. If I set this to individually assign, it, uh, it, it would disrupt things. So all I'd have to do is make a copy of the test. But you might note that I can't make a copy from here. So I'd have to copy it. It's kind of, uh, kind of complicated, but I have to copy it to another course. Now in my sandbox, I don't have another course to copy it to. But if I have another course, then I can copy it to that course and then copy it back to the first course. Um, and that will, I could here you though save to resources and use that. Uh, let me do that within a month. Tell it to just put it to save that in my resources. And that's probably the way I'd have to get around it here in my sandbox. Um, now that means it's here in my resources. But I could now uh, add it to a course. Um, and by, put it back to a course, or copy it to a course. Let me go ahead and copy it to, uh, well, that's copying within resources. I'll add it back to the course, Plants and People. That doesn't have a folder. And this one maybe I individually assign, put on the, a new due date that's different from the original, and then add that to the course. If I come back to my class now from my resources, I, a little confusing. I now have two test ones, one due on the ninth, one I just copied back. This one, I'll have to get in here and edit it before the students step in, put on individually assigned, and assign it to a, I can individually assign it to a specific student. So this is an alternative way to, to if you've got a single student who you're making a an exception to for due to power problems and internet access problems. This would allow you to assign the test to a single student. It does not affect anybody else. And so I save the changes and uh, in the grade book that one will appear only for Angelina. For the other students, which I don't have any other students, it would appear grayed out. They would be they wouldn't see it. It doesn't appear in their grades at all. It only appears to Angelina, this test, uh, that was individually assigned. So that's a couple ways to deal with pushing back a test uh, deadline. Either change both of the settings or 
individually assign it by flipping it out to resources and then bringing it back into the course as a second test that's individually assigned. Assessment, the assessment's material item works in a similar fashion. Uh, if you're working, if you're doing your test as assessment's material item, again, uh, you'll need to change, but the two places are both here. The due date and the enable from until dates are all in the edit box for assessment. So it's one-stop shopping to alter the dates for an assessment. Assessments and tests are two are re essentially redundant systems, but assessments does have more question types and the formats in which they lay out are different. And some of their capabilities such as item analysis are different. And that wraps that up one, that one up.